Okay, hey everybody, this is Carl from CarlSapTutor.com and today I'm here to show you another Python tutorial. So if you want to see any of my other tutorials, feel free to head to my website, CarlSapTutor.com and you can see any of my HTML or Python tutorials. I will be adding more tutorials in the future for CSS and JavaScript. Okay, so let's head over to our Python GUI or Graphical User Interface and let's just quickly start this again. So I'm just going to go on to run the run this empty module and okay so now we have started the Python shell again and we're going to be learning about if statements. So the real use of a boolean if you watched my last video is only useful if a statement is true or false but in this example I'm going to show you we only want to know we only want to print the name if the name is Richard and only Richard nothing else but Richard so we're first of all going to put the name is equal to an input so input and we're going to put uh, what is your name so we're effectively uh, we're creating our own question because we use the input variable uh, the input function so now this is where the if statement comes in so we're saying now that if the name is equal to in one pair of quotation marks Richard with a capital R uh, close the comma or uh, close the uh, quotation mark with a colon and then we're going to press then we're going to type in print uh, in brackets hello plus name and now we're going to press enter so now when we run it we have got one small problem here which is expected to come up because when we're using the if statement we always have to make sure that you, we have to use the equivalent sign not the equal to sign like we're using in a regular variable so now let's rerun this module and it says what is your name in the console log so now if I put Richard it says hello Richard one minor thing you have to remember is you also need to put a space between uh, your string to indicate there will be a speech mark uh, to indicate a space between the two uh, strings so let's try that again Richard so it says hello Richard now if I let's say let's rerun this for a third time and let's say I had the name of my name Carl nothing would appear nothing at all and this is because I've only programmed it to only run if the name is Richard and only Richard so now this brings us on to something called an if else statement in which we're going to decide now in this part of the tutorial we're pretty much going to be making our own username and we're also going to be making a password as you do for a normal login to a website so to do this we're going to apply the same basic notations as we're going to declare the first variable as name and this is going to be equal to your input and we're going to enter our we're going to say enter your username here colon end speech marks and end your brackets now if the name so if name is equal to uh, is equivalent to uh, I'm going to put Carl with a capital C and then a colon after that I wanted to print um, welcome back to your page buddy and then it's going to end there so first of all let's print this so enter your username here and it's Carl and this is welcome back to your page now let's say I typed in the wrong part let's say I typed in the wrong username but I wanted another I wanted um, another message to come up so in this case is where the you bring in your elf your else statement 
So in a case where you don't type it in, so you type in else colon print and then we can put in anything here like help I'm being I'm being hacked and then we're going to close the speech marks and close this so let's run this program now so it's asking me to enter your username here so let's say I put the name as Paul Oops. let's say I put the username in as Paul and it just says help I'm being hacked this is purely because if the statement is right it'll print this if the statement is wrong it'll print this and since the statement is wrong as I've not entered Carl I've entered Paul it will print the else statement now when we want to include a password we're going to be doing a very similar style of text so we're going to leave what is your username and we're going to say my username is Carl and it's still going to have the semicolon and now let's remove everything else for now so the first thing we want to do is include a variable for your password so assuming you get your username right it's now going to ask you for your password so I want to name this PWD and this is going to equal another so this is a new variable and we're going to put input um, okay if you're really Carl what's the password and then end this now after you've done this we can make an if statement again so we're saying if the PWD if the password is equal to or equivalent to let's say I don't know um, chickens one two three end this and then another pair of colons we can then have a print message saying haha jokes I knew it was you all along plus name and then I'm going to close this and now let's say so okay let, let's first of all try this out so it says enter your username here so it says uh, Carl so okay if you're really Carl what's the password so the password we've made up is chickens123 and now since that is wrong there is nothing that will come up because I've not added an else statement yet. However, if I typed it in right, like I should have done, it would come up as enter username here, Carl. If what is the real password? And it's chicken one two three. And it says, haha, jokes. I knew it was you all along. Now. This is where we can start start to add in a else statement. So in the case that you get the username right and you get the password wrong, you make another else statement which says print. And you can say, uh, come on mate, try again. Refresh the page. Okay, so now let's see what will happen if I get it get the username right but I get the password wrong so I'll type in the username Carl and what's the password and I just put in that it says come on mate try again refresh the page so at this point here now let at this point here is where you'd refresh the page and you try again until the password is right now let's say you get the actual uh, username wrong well in this case you'd have another else statement and that would be printing a new um, that would be printing a completely new pair of st uh, completely new string which would say I don't know help I'm being hacked yet again help me
and now let's end this so what we've done here is we've now created our initial input as we can input our username we can put our name in then we can have a, th a second input of okay if if you're really Carl what's your password and if you get it right it'll print out your if statements however if you get it wrong it will tell you to refresh the page however if you get the initial name wrong then it will say help me I'm being hacked again so let's have a look so it says it simply says here enter your username here so I want to put um, Carl oh no okay so let's put it as C A R L now since this is not capitals this is what's going to directly happen so let's rerun the module and let's put it as Carl and what's the password uh, my password is chicken123 and therefore it says haha checks I knew, it was, I knew you it was all along the one thing that a lot of passwords are uh, what a lot of usernames do have in the general name is not just if the name is equivalent to Carl with a capital C so over here you can have if the name is equivalent to capital C or the name is equivalent to uh, small c then the same function will now occur for both of them because this will happen so enter your username here Carl with a small c now and it has recognized it as an or statement and as both of them are true it will therefore run so what's the password chicken123 and it now runs another way you can do this is by simply putting another way you can do this is by simply putting your name dot lower which will therefore make everything in in this little speech here lower into lowercase letters however for me I much prefer to write this and therefore this is the only way I want to show you anyways thank you very much for watching my new video and um, please keep watching my other videos please uh, feel free to leave any feedback you want uh, I'm Carl from carlsapsy.com